Welcome back. Let's get things started out there this morning. We're watching some wildfire smoke across some parts of the region on top of some clouds as well and even a few showers. So we have a lot going on already again this morning in a few areas. Air quality not that great out there. You noticed the smoke yesterday. It's still around this morning near Eau Claire to Wausau. Rhinelander code red air quality here which means it's unhealthy for everybody whether you're healthy or dealing with a health issue out there. So be smart whenever you're heading outside and maybe limit that time outdoors as best you can and try to avoid Avoid any strenuous activity, at least during the outdoor periods, until the uh, air quality improves. We'll see a little improvement today, though some areas could see up the code orange air quality later today. So that's still unhealthy for the sensitive groups, but it'll at least be a little bit better than the uh, code red air quality, where it's unhealthy for everybody. But that smoke is kind of developing across parts of Quebec, at least for the time being. In Canada, though, is moving into our backyard, but we're going to start seeing it. it's clearing out of here later today. By around four o'clock, we should start noticing some major improvement, and then overnight tonight, things will start to look better as that smoke finally starts to get out of here. So for now though, we have a fire danger here at home. High fire danger across a good part of Wisconsin, still courtesy of the dry weather recently from Marathon County to Vilas County and areas to the west, a moderate fire danger. So it's not as bad just yet, but I expect that to start increasing soon, especially with the drier weather that we're expecting for the time being. But again, look at the radar and satellite. We have a cold front tracking through this morning for the north going to the south. This is giving us a few showers that are developing after this morning, so nothing too too extreme in a few spots. We could get a few rumbles of thunder later today as we get some daytime heating going with this cold front located right about here. But even though we won't see much rain, we could have an opportunity to at least see the cold front clean up the air a bit, which is why we're expecting that smoke to get out of here later today. So future cast for today. Otherwise, a mostly cloudy sky. We might get a few breaks in the clouds later today in a few spots. But otherwise, there's those showers and storms that could develop later this afternoon, but they back off later tonight. And then by tomorrow, we'll be mostly cloudy with maybe a few showers in some spots. Then once we get towards early Tuesday afternoon, we'll start seeing things calm down just a bit. But then by Tuesday night into Wednesday, here we are, a few more clouds that will begin to move through yet again. So otherwise, though, dew points will start to drop a bit. We're going to be in the 50s and 60s again today. We'll fall back as we head towards Tuesday, at least through parts of Friday, before later in the Friday we rise back into the lower 60s briefly before we fall back down again as we head towards your Saturday. Temperatures right now in the 50s and 60s to start things off. So already mild out there this morning, courtesy of the active weather that we've been seeing and we'll see temperatures warm up again today in the lower 80s so above normal again mostly cloudy with a few thunderstorms out there the northeast wind getting up to about five miles per hour for tonight though mostly cloudy with a slight chance for a thunderstorm early we'll have lows in the middle 50s and an east wind at about five miles per hour northwood furniture and mattress seven day forecast a few rain showers on the way for you tuesday with highs in the upper 70s we're we'll dry wednesday through friday though with temperatures in the 70s and 80s we had some storms back into the picture on saturday before before we dry out on Sunday.